I'm Aaron Graber with Ventrac, and today we're mowing an overpass next to a highway. The side of the hill is very steep. It's also a little bit overgrown. It hasn't been taken care of in a while. And we're next to a highway with weird access, so getting here with this machine is much easier than a larger machine. If there's one machine that's designed to do basically this exact job, it's a Ventrac. Sometimes we take it for granted because we run these machines every day. But if you didn't have any idea that this machine existed or you weren't familiar with them and you showed up and looked at this property, it would actually be a pretty daunting task. You'd see a lot of challenges that you wouldn't necessarily know how to accomplish with a traditional piece of equipment. Um, but just another day in the office for Ventrac. You'll also notice that today I have a tractor equipped with dual tire chains on every corner of the tractor and a mid-mount weight kit. This is gonna give me the most possible traction because this is a pretty steep area and it does have some longer grasses that when I cut them off, uh, will be laying in, in the area that I'm gonna be driving over top of. We also have the flail mower because flails are very popular for roadside use and the side of highways. And it should leave a much nicer finish on this area than if we were using something like our tough cut or um, a rough cut mower on another tractor. This is a pretty simple video. This is a Ventrac in its classic operation on a perfect scenario for it. So we're gonna get it to work uh, show you exactly what this machine is all about and all of the advantages of using a Ventrac on a, on a property or an area just like this. When you get a hill this steep, it's always fun. It, it just is, there's no, there's no way around it. So I had fun, and also it didn't take me nearly as long as I thought it would. We thought maybe 20 minutes for this section. Um, we probably got that done in 10 minutes, so I just did the next 30 yards too, just because we had some time. So that worked out. Um, the tractor handled beautifully. There's a section over by the end at the very top that is probably the steepest, steepest part of the hill and you also have the best vantage point of the highway, so that's really a, an interesting spot because you feel like you're at, at the steepest place, but you can also see directly down. So that was really fun to do. Um, but tractor handled it like a champ, no problems. The chains are awesome in conditions like this. If you get into like really muddy conditions, I'm not sure that they help um, cut through that if it's really clay-based, but when you have general mowing conditions like this where it's, it's pretty dry, there's a little bit of moisture in the ground, um, nothing too crazy. The chains are like Velcro on the hill, which makes it really fun to drive um, and very stable as well. There's not a whole lot else to say about this. Uh, the flail mower did an incredible job of dicing the material up. Like I predicted before, it looks pretty good. And by the time we leave, this stuff will all start to disintegrate and 
um, get back into the, into the ground in no time at all. This will probably be the only time I ever tell you to unsubscribe from our channel. If you're this type of person, this is my least favorite part about mowing next to the road. This used to be a hydration drink, sports drink bottle. Um, I saw it too late, so I turned it into about a thousand plastic pieces. I'll take this with me as much as I can get. I couldn't find any more, but if this is you, if you drive down the road and you just, you know, I got some garbage, just pitch it out, no problem. Go ahead and unsubscribe right now. I don't need you. Um, if you do not like litter, subscribe to the channel. That's what we're about. We'll pick up some trash. We'll mow some stuff down. More videos in the future. Thanks for watching.